Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Experimental stream. Uh, unusual for my channel because today I'm gonna be trying to stream from PC. Anyway, I'm not quite sure if my PC can handle it. If I, uh, you know, it's like it's a new setup, so let me know in the chat, please, if everything works fine. If not, I will try to make a different setup. Um, I will explain like why I decided to even stream from PC, to play from PC. Uh, Angry Ossie says, it could be a short stream. Yeah, it could be, <laughs> because you know I'm playing on PC. Uh, we will see it if, it, if it's gonna be a short stream or a long stream. Anyway, hello and welcome. Uh, let me know first of all let me know technical stuff like do you hear me uh, like fine is uh, like graphic is good enough like is it lagging or not I don't know it's a new setup I'm playing from PC I'm streaming from this PC so I have no idea if everything works fine uh, but then we will continue to uh, reasons why I even decided to play on PC. Well, you see, I have a plan to make a big series of streams. Okay, so uh, people in the chat like Angry Ossi are saying that stream is fine. Twisted Trading also says that stream quality is fine. So it's, it's, good, it's good to hear. Uh, and yeah, it's 60 FPS. Uh, I'm playing in 2K resolution, uh, but uh, obviously I'm streaming in Full HD. I'm not quite sure even if 2K resolution and stream on the same PC will work fine. We will see it later. But anyway, why I decided to play on PC? Well, because I'm playing in a big series of streams, you know, leveling from level 1. To level 100 like all on streams like so it's like a big guide slash journey also i i want to do it because I mean, to be honest the the funniest part of red dead online is starting the new characters to me like this first not even 100 but i'd say 80 levels you know before you will level up all the roles and stuff and buy the most important things they're the most challenging uh, and uh, the most interesting. So anyway, I decided to, to make such series of streams and obviously I can do it only on PC because on Xbox, unfortunately, on every of my streams for the last year or even more, yeah, more than a year, I have stream snipers. They join, they, you know, try to ruin process. And obviously if I'm gonna be playing with, with low level, uh, they will ruin the, the whole idea. So, PC is the only solution. Obviously, I will have to create a solo lobby, which I did right now. Uh, because, again, stream snipers on PC exist as well. But the, even worse, there are mod menu users on PC. So, without private lobby, it will not work. Galan Pioneer says, I missed you on Sunday for the traditional stream cat. Yeah, I couldn't do it because I had some things in, uh, you know, going on. Plus, internet was broken for the whole Sunday and Monday. Uh, so it's like, like I could use my secondary internet, but I decided to skip it. Which rank are you currently? <laughs> I don't even remember how to check rank when playing on PC. Like which button should I press? Guys, I don't I don't remember which button should I press on PC to check a rank. Oh yeah, tabulation. 335. On PC my level is 335. On console on my main account I think it's like 420 or something. Uh, but uh, obviously I have like all the items uh, on PC, all weapons, all ability cards leveled up to maximum level. So, which, which is, you know, not a surprise considering level 335. How do you make solo lobby? Uh, well, there are a few methods, but uh, I, I tested 
two different methods, but apparently it's the same method. So basically, this method creates a file uh, which is called uh, uh, startup meta uh, in your Red Dead Redemption 2 category, and you just type random stuff there, and only people who have exactly the same file with exactly the same random stuff that you typed a, at the end of this file can join your lobby. So it had it, been working forever on PC, it's like a super old method. And uh, like in theory, Rockstar like could ban for it just because like when you start the game for the first time with this file, it says like, oh, do you know that you have uh, like changed uh, game files like oh boo 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 it's it's not good but from what I know no one ever was banned for it and people still play and uh, so far it's the only reasonable protection on uh, on PC so yeah you look at, there are multiple different ways it's a uh, screen skip or uh, on Nexus Mods uh, Solo Lobby Manager, or simply just find this meta, startup meta file. They all, what they all do is they create this startup meta file, which, uh, you know, grants you a solo lobby. So it's just like, it's, that's it. So anyway, uh, this stream is testing. And uh, since we are testing, let me know let me know like how it's going and the only way to know how it's going is to make is to make a poll start a poll start a poll stream quality Damn. is as usual worse Terrible. So, uh, like, for you, stream quality comparing to, like, usual streams when I stream on Xbox. Let me know. What what do you think? I, I'm starting a poll because my PC is lagging, like, heavily. <laughs> I don't know. Like, really lags. But if, according to statistics, everything works fine. Uh, Janos says, do you stream anywhere else? Uh, no, I only stream on YouTube. I'm not much of a streamer. I'm a YouTuber, so, you know, I stream like once a week and not every week. So most of my viewers on YouTube and that's why I stream on YouTube. So anyway, I was not playing on PC for a long, long time consistently. I obviously quit PC uh, because, of because of cheaters. They were literally chasing me, and at some point when I bought Xbox Series X, I thought like, why do I even need to bother? I, I will just keep playing on Xbox. Uh, Derek says, PvP, winning streak or Gunslinger's choice? Uh, winning streak all day. I mean, it's just, it's just much more powerful ability card on both on paper and on practice as well there are some reasons to use gunslinger's choice but like but winning streak is just better i mean especially since it's broken you know what i recently retested it and rocks are broke it so instead of adding 10% per each consecutive shot, it, it now adds 20%. So you reach 100% extra damage bonus, which is like insane for Red Dead in line, after five shots. And like, if you use Painted Black, or you're just really good at snipers, or it's for some other reason you are sure that you're not gonna miss your shots, it's just like the best damage ability card by far. Not even close. Uh, Brian Jordan is saying, what is the end game for Red Dead Online? That's the trick. There is no end game in Red Dead Online. Okay, I, I was not playing with mouse and a keyboard in Red Dead Online for quite some time. I was not... I was not, uh, you know, shooting. <laughs> so... 
not sure if I can... If I will be hitting anyone, but we will try. ESP says, game looks better than Xbox. Well, uh, well, guys, on PC, even, even though, like, my PC is not top tier, I have RTX uh, 3070 and uh, some decent uh, uh, processor, but not, like, the top one. But anyway, almost, almost good... Um, Computers game will look much much better than on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X Two reasons first of all 60 FPS Second like overall quality of textures is just much higher And you know why because there is no next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 still there is no next-gen version Angry Aussie says, there is no end game in Red Dead Online and there is no Infinity War either. Yeah, there is no end game in Red Dead Online. Uh, since it's... Uh, I, I'm actually not quite sure how this private lobby functions. Like, can I start uh, PvP activities? Can I start... Probably I cannot start PvP activities, but I guess I can start Telegram missions like Call to Arms and stuff. Okay, I never understood this random encounter like this. It's just two dudes shooting each other. And like, so what? L let's see. Flying keys. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 buddy. Ah. I forgot like which buttons I should press. Yo, what is the best role for leveling up? Like, usually, Collector is by far the best role for leveling up, because it brings you, like, insane amount of experience. Uh, but this month, considering double experience for Bounty Hunter role, I mean, it's still probably better to buy Bounty Hunter and just... You know, get a little less experience. Even with double experience, Bounty Hunter will bring you less. But a lot of gold. Twisted Trading says, I never knew what to do with that encounter either. Yeah, it's like, I think it's the only encounter that is not giving you anything. Like, maybe not the only. Maybe the only one. Actually, just, you know, just getting used to playing PC, mouse and keyboard again, because a repeat was not playing for a long time. Uh, what is better on PC, like, in my opinion, from my experience? Fighting. Like, PvP, PvE, doesn't matter. Shooting is just so much better on PC. So much better. Not even close. I mean, on mouse and a keyboard, comparing to controller. Uh, hunting obviously as well because it's like it's like hunting riding a horse riding a horse is so much better on PC you literally just press and hold shift and you ride there is no need to spam a button like uh, on a controller when I play on the controller I have to do like this I don't know why it's stupid but you cannot uh, change the setting to hold instead of tapping it's just it's just annoying i broke few controllers this way i'm not kidding <laughs> in red dead and light uh so yeah riding a horse is better obviously graphic is better but it depends on your pc now what is better on console obviously no cheaters and uh second uh, collecting collecting stuff is so much easier on pc when you when you're using a controller Okay, guys, so plan on this stream. It's a testing stream. I'm gonna be testing stuff. So just, uh, as always, it's gonna be... I'm gonna be reading chat, answering your questions, uh, asking different stuff, and so on. Angry Aussie says, and game don't crash as much on console. Yeah. I mean, I don't even remember when my game was... Uh, you know, crashed on console at all. And yes, on PC, by the way, until the last small patch, 
I couldn't play at all. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. I was logging in. I tried few times. I was logging in. I was playing for two minutes. And I was... Uh, was just... Game was just randomly closing after a few minutes. I was doing nothing. I was not meeting any modders. I was not opening wilderness camp. Not, no change. You're just riding and boom, crash. But apparently they fixed it. They fixed it. Anyway, let's go and test infamous bounty because I see a lot of uh, people are saying in the chat that double, ma double gold is not working for infamous bounties. Uh, which is weird because I'm pretty sure that I I tested infamous bounty mission at Emerald Station and I'm like almost sure that it was double gold. But let's, you know what, let's test. And yeah, what are we talking about? Uh, it's a double, double payout for bounty hunter missions this month. But it was initially broken, like they forgot to activate it, and there was no double gold at all. Few days later, they activated double gold, but apparently only for legendary bounties and for... Uh, for most, I guess, for most infamous bounties. Because some infamous bounties missions, like in Annensburg, they never paid double gold. Like, never. Carol UK says, whoop, I love a random stream. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a test stream, so that's why it's random. And uh, there, will be, there will be a stream on Sunday, but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna be streaming, you know, from PC or from console. I don't know yet. So, so what should I do? Okay, okay, sorry. Tell me, it's a gun. <laughs> okay. I I'm not quite sure how am I supposed to intimidate him. Okay, talk. Okay, maybe this way. Hey, talk. Oh. Okay, fine. They got a boat out in Clemens Cove. Okay, thank you for your information. This is gonna end bad. It is indeed. I think he's a snitch. For some reason, I cannot aim at him. You know, he's unkillable. Not even unkillable, I cannot even aim in his direction, but anyway. Let's go and test if I still remember how to shoot using a mouse and a keyboard, because I'm not quite sure. Actually, interesting information from Twisted Trading. Benedict Point was the only one I've seen that isn't playing double gold for infamous bounty so far. Annenberg's does pay double. You know what? I, I thought that Annenberg is always broken. I mean, it's not the first time they have double payout. And uh, previously, there were some infamous bounties that were not paying double gold. And I think one of them was... Um, Annensburg, but maybe I forgot. Carcano with uh, mouse in the keyboard is so fun. Yeah, but not only. I mean, I'm not gonna use Carcano. I will use something like something like. Okay, wait a second. I have an extremely terrible ability card set up, which makes no sense at all, uh, even on PC. Especially on PC, actually. I don't. I have no idea why I had it. Gunslinger's choice. You know what? Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's go. What outfit is that cat? It's um, Amador plus uh, some hat from all the Utlopasses. I don't remember which one. 
Okay, let's go and try... Okay, okay, here we go. It's actually really satisfying uh, to play... Okay, oh, whoa, 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 I, I don't need to kill them. I forgot. Okay. Two of them left. Whoops. Okay. Oh, what? What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Where? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Stay, stay there. I don't remember all the controls on PC, so I'm just gonna be uh, trying to remember him. So anyway, let's knock them out. Ouch! He's he's like ouch, and knock. Oh, not again. Let's knock this out as well. Come on, just like how many times do I have to hit him? Uh, actually, you know what guys, I forgot to start the timer, so I'm not quite sure. Oh, I, I don't have that much time. PC does not mean we play, uh, PC does not mean we need to play mouse and keyboard. It doesn't mean we need, it's just like mouse and keyboard is way more satisfying than uh, controller, at least in my opinion. Okay, no, not not this. And, and also, you know what, painted black. Using painted black is also way more fun on a PC. Like not even close. Okay, I, for, I forgot all the all the buttons that I had to press. So, my plan is, I forgot to call for a bounty hunter wagon, which, you know, I guess I should have called for bounty hunter wagon, but I will just try to deliver, I will try to deliver this bandit on foot. I mean, I guess five minutes is enough, uh, <laughs> if that's what she said. Anyway, uh, I guess I, I, I will deliver him on foot and second one on a horseback. I mean, obviously, what I should have done is to get another horse, but there is no another horse nearby. And also, another thing I could have done is, like, I cannot aim when there is a horse nearby. Oh, there is another horse. Stay, 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 stay. Bro. Also, you know, making these headshots was uh, without painted black using a mouse and a keyboard is way more satisfying than playing uh, with a controller. I mean, I'm, what what I miss about playing on PC is mouse and the keyboard. It just looks so much better. And I always it always makes me laugh when, uh, you know, there are type of players who think that they are better than anybody else simply because they play with mouse and the keyboard and they always say like, oh, you play on a console with a controller, you such a noob with auto aim, Ha ha ha, I'm so much superior than you, I have a mouse, I'm so good, and they probably, you know, um, they have a monocle or something when saying it, but I will tell you what I think about it, mouse and a keyboard, especially considering that there is a painted black ability in Red Dead Online, 
and especially considering how strong sniper rifles and Carcano rifle in particular mouse and controller are so much better and give you so much of advantage than controller even with auto aim especially since you can counter auto aim with uh, tonics and with ability cards like slippery bastard or slow and steady and with long distances like mouse and a keyboard plus improved bow plus dynamite arrow is just like insta kill from any distance it's just like it's so pathetic when people say this like oh pc players uh people who play with mouse and a keyboard it's a true skill required here not like when people play with auto aim i don't think so in my opinion play playing with mouse and a keyboard is easier like literally easier than playing with auto aim okay so i have another one uh the problem is i i kind of forgot to measure when we started the mission Swiss Swiss says I can play both mouse and keyboard but I'm just bad at controller well I'm just bad uh, and used to be bad on mouse and keyboard but I was not playing for three years on a PC so probably not anymore uh, you know what let's deliver no let's wait uh, for 40 seconds so there will be less than one minute let us know how much experience you get you you should see an experience you should see an experience you should see gold and uh, and money Shane saying once you adjust to mouse and keyboard is definitely so much easier yeah it's important point by the way uh, we are talking about like not a situation when you only switched from PC to mouse or from uh, from PC and mouse to controller or from controller to mouse and PC. No, we're talking about situations when you played for quite some time and you already adjusted. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Let's go and see payout. Okay, here we go. So both delivered uh, 450 bound. Yeah, it's definitely double double gold. 0 0.48 uh, gold bars is a double gold for this mission because you know it's a payout for 30 minutes, and I, I think I spent something between 12 and 15 minutes. So yeah, it's double uh, double gold. I'm not quite sure about experience though. Twisted Trading says not double experience. So at least something is broken. <laughs> Sergey says, can someone answer please? Can I mark targets on Q or in Red Dead Online only automatically? You can mark targets in Red Dead Online only automatically with Painted Black. That's one of the big differences with uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know what? Let's go. Let's go to Emerald Ranch and uh, complete uh, bounty, infamous bounty mission there. Doctor Beber says because he knocked them out, he got less XP. No, not true. Not true. It's not. Uh, knocked out targets are equal to a live target in both payout and experience. Legendary bounties are for sure given double experience because uh, I received 3000 experience points for Etta Doyle for uh, For 30 minutes And yeah guys, thanks to everyone who joined this random stream and to everyone who placed a like I have no idea how many people are watching. Let me actually switch 300 viewers and 144 likes so yes thanks to everyone let's continue 
Angry Aussie says, I bet Etta is busy this month. Yeah, I mean, Etta, uh, like, you know, if... If you want to grind as much gold as possible, making legendary bounties is not the best option. Uh, just because, like, there are cutscenes, loading screens, cooldown, stuff like that. So, the better idea is to just grind the infamous bounties. Like, you complete one, deliver it to next town, immediately pick next one, deliver it to a third town, de uh, pick uh, infamous bounty there, deliver it to the original first town, and so on and so on. So, you can grind them non-stop. No cutscenes almost, no loading screens, just like in non-stop grind. But if you want to play more casually, obviously just spend 5 minutes on Netta Doyle and just stay AFK for another 25 minutes. Just go and read a book or watch TV, meanwhile uh, you will get some decent payout. What repeater is the best? Lancaster, by far. Our regular bounty finally fixed. Last time I checked, they were not paying double gold. I don't know what about now. Cat, can you somehow slow down losing condition on guns? Yes. Uh, two options. Uh, I mean, you should use both because they stock up. First one is you need to use wraps. Let me show you. I don't actually have rubs on these weapons. I probably have on Carcana. Let me pick up Carcana. Yeah. Uh, you see, I have rub here. It decreases uh, uh, rate on which you lose condition. Uh, your weapon loses condition by 10% and another 10% you get from trinkets uh, oh yeah you, you can check what trinkets you have I think by going to player and uh, in general information I think no health stamina general stats No, not here. I actually forgot where you can check what which trinkets you have. <laughs> but you can somewhere. Maybe in inventory. Yeah, in inventory. You can check it in kit. Uh, so you see, you, uh, Beaver Tooth Trinket is another thing that slows degradation for all weapons by 10%. And it stacks up with, uh, with Rub. So you get Rub, you get uh, Beaver Tooth Trinket, you should buy it from Gus, and you will uh, decrease the rate with which your weapons are losing condition by 20%. So, you know, it's pretty good. Hey yeah, guys, as always, thanks to everyone who placed a like already and to everyone who supports my channel on Patreon, YouTube and stuff like that. You accidentally opened health stats instead of general. So yeah, I think uh, there is some... Yeah, in general. Yeah, right here. Perks, you see? You can see trinkets that you have uh, in perks. As you can see, I have four out of five. Does it matter if it's cloth or leather? No. I tested and they are the same. By the way, Madame Nazar is here. If someone was looking for Madame Nazar, she is uh, nearby to Emerald uh, Ranch. Let's see if I have full collections on PC. I even have one full collection unsold on PC. Fairly family heirlooms. Not bad. 
Maltez uh, says, how do you, how can you abandon a game that looks so good? Still makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me as well. I mean, it just, it's just weird. L let's go and complete infamous bounty uh, here. I mean, I completed it on the Xbox uh, uh, the day they like fixed legendary bounties and I received double payout as well. And then I completed regular bounty and received normal payout. And from that I assumed that uh, they fixed everything except normal bounties. Okay, so wait a second, I need to start the timer. Six minutes, okay. Let's use a shotgun for this one. Mark's channel says, Howdy, PC Red Dead working fine now and haven't seen any modders. Well, uh, in public lobbies there are still a lot of modders, so no, new patch uh, did nothing about them. And I, I actually highly doubt that Rockstar can do anything about modders, uh, simply because they're using this cheap peer-to-peer -peer connection system so I, I I I mean I'm pretty sure that the the always will be modders in Red Dead Online in GTA Online and which is even more importantly in GTA 6 Online just like that's the way it is let's Oh, that's where the third one was. I actually like uh, to make the streak, you know, and kill multiple uh, multiple enemies with in one shot, basically, with Painted Black. But again, it's something that you can easily do on PC and on consoles. It's a little bit more challenging. Will you play GTA 6 online? For sure, I will play. Even simply to compare it to Red Dead Online, you know. Okay, let's have a gunfight. Actually, it's not necessary to make a gunfight here. You can just wait until she will run away and then chase her. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's it's her. Is it bounty target? Yeah. It's so satisfying to play, uh, you know, with mouse and the keyboard, but without painted black. I really like it. It's just like, you know, when you make a headshot on a console, it's like, well, yeah, not much of a big deal because it's like super easy to make a headshot when, uh, when, when you have auto aim. Bam! Knockout, baby. Sometimes she doesn't run. Well, if you if you simply start, uh, if you don't start shooting. She always, for me at least, I completed this mission multiple times and if you start shooting, she shoots back. She might hide uh, somewhere and shoot from cover, but when you just ride around, she starts running away. And then you can capture her. I know it because I tried to complete this mission during my uh, no kills run, you know, where I tried not to kill anyone. So, uh, uh, my plan was to let her run away, and it worked. I, I completed it a few times. Do 
dearest cat person have you been harassed by cheaters yet not uh, this time because i'm playing in a private lobby that's the only way to play on pc in my opinion but back in the day like i stopped playing on pc because of cheaters i mean i couldn't stream because on every single stream there was a cheater who was ruining everything but I couldn't even play because like cheaters were joining my lobby obviously you know targeting me specifically for a few months so I couldn't play and I just decided to stop Ahmed is saying what is this game called this game is called Red Dead Redemption 2 online What do you do with 600 gold and 50,000 dollars? Nothing. Same answer as uh, what do you do with uh, 100 gold and 10,000 dollars once you have everything. Same, same answer as uh, what do you do with 10,000 gold and 1 million dollars. Nothing. You just can do nothing. There is... Uh, in Red Dead Online, there is a certain point uh, that I think almost every long-time player reaches that money and gold, they don't matter at all anymore. You literally cannot spend what you have. Okay, so I started at 6 minutes and now it's 12. Uh, you know what, let's deliver. Let's deliver in 20 seconds. Oh, actually I, I, I should... You know what, Let, let's make... Let's deliver to Saint Denis. To pick up mission there, because I already completed mission in, in Rhodes. Oh, actually I can open map with one button. I'm forgetting that I'm playing on PC. And yes, you can deliver uh, bounty targets, doesn't matter which, legendary, regular, infamous, to any sheriff station. Like, not necessarily the one that game is telling you. Guy Berkowski says, yes, you, you can if you press M. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I just forgot it because I was not playing on PC for quite some time. <clears throat> How do you get a private lobby? Google uh, Red Dead Online start... Uh, how it's called? Uh, startup Meta? I forgot, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Startup Meta, I think. Cat, is that a through good outfit? Toro good, you mean? Uh, no, it's not Toro good outfit. Uh, Toro good is for, uh, you know, prestigious bounty hunter role. Yeah, this one is from Outlaw Pass 1 or 2. I don't know, but from some old Outlaw Pass. And hat, hat is from different outfit. Whoops. So now I'm completing this mission for eight minutes. Let's wait another another minute. To and then I should receive a payout for nine minutes. So with double gold it should be forty eight again. Yeah, it should be 48. Like regular 24. I, I will just wait for one more uh, until, you know, 
now it's 520 i will wait until it will be uh, 4 uh, 59 and then deliver rommel smith thank you rommel slava ukraini my friend i hope all is well thank you i hope you are well as <laughs> you are well as well you make me want to hop back online again i will place a like now it's possible to place likes on the super chat messages uh, well you know m maybe you will you will have a reason to uh, get back to online again because rocks are, are, are still working on something maybe it will be a title update that will fix uh, all the bugs and issues uh, hopefully it will be it uh, so your attention payout yeah 48 58 dollars so yeah it's a double payout i'm not quite sure about experience though ahmed says is this game good uh i like this game i like it so like depend like you know it depends if you if you like setting um if you m if you're looking for some you know less active and more immersive activity then yeah you will f you might find it good obviously if you if you want to play something like crazy like gta online or something well anyway it depends i'm not quite sure but i play it Put Black Rose Bounty Hunter outfit, cat. I don't like that Bounty Hunter outfit. I mean, from Bounty uh, from Bounty Hunter outfits, I only like Toro Good and uh, and only uh, after replacing hat. Oh yeah, I wanted to pick up a new bounty. You know what? What? Twisted Trading was saying that there is one legendary bounty that is broken, like at Benedict Point. Right? Let's go and test it. Because so far we tested here, we tested here, received double payout. Let's go to Benedict Point and test uh, bounty mission there. Infamous bounty. me and for handless says i think story mode is a lot better than online then you can play story mode like what's what's the big deal vidika says no it's ultimate edition version outfit cat Oh, you mean that Black Rose or what? Uh, I'm not quite sure if I even have Ultimate Edition. By the way, uh, Fast Travel is free of charge this month. To be honest, it's not that important when you grind Legendary Bounty. Uh, not Legendary, when you grind Bounty Hunter Roll and Infamous Bounties. But like for people who grind Collector Roll it's it might be important that's for beginners who grind collector roll it might be important oh there we go speaking about collector roll oops twisted trading says i haven't checked one horn i'm pretty sure one horn has no double payouts as well uh, just like Anna's. I, I mean i thought maybe i you know maybe it's not annensburg but one horn but i remember that one of the uh, sheriff stations there is broken and, and never gives you double payout not sure which one why does not matchmaking for call to arms not work i have no idea why matchmaking for call to arms is not working like matchmaking for pvp modes or uh much making for land of opportunity missions like no idea why okay let's go
picture is really dark now on my PC. Like usually uh, on my Xbox picture is just so much brighter, but during nighttime is is super dark now. My, uh, it's definitely some settings. Okay, let's test uh, this mission. Okay, is it... Los Pasajeros. I cannot read it. Riley says, I got prestigious bounty hunter for five gold bars. Well, it's because of this promotion. Uh, you need to reach level, not level, but wave three in an equal to arms map this month. And you get discount, 10 gold bars on the bounty hunter roll. This game looks like a movie, Ahmed is saying. Well, yeah. And you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is basically a big movie. Like, interactive movie. Whee! Nice jumps. Yeah, obviously, I said it already. I will say it again. But game looks so much better on my PC than on my Xbox Series X. Is it a stealthy mission? I don't remember. Do I need to use bow? Let's... Oh, I guess I had a bow. Go to last known location. Now what I have to do. Oh, I remember this one. I have to kill a, uh, a lot of enemies, right? Make Take out bandits. You know what? Let's use a bow. Bow is also extremely satisfying on PC. Like... You cannot do this on console, <laughs> like, really, you cannot. Auto-aim is not gonna help you. It's just... Painted black plus mouse and the keyboard plus bow, it's just, it feels so good. I really like playing on PC. Okay, let's loot everyone, it's not necessary. Uh, is there a campaign? In Red Dead Online it's not really a campaign. Focus on a clue. It's like a small story, unfortunately it's unfinished and... Uh, Oh no, they're planning to ambush a train. Let's hurry up. I forgot to measure the time of this mission again, but it's been like four minutes or something. Let's go on and save this train from these bandits. Uh, Kat, which role do you think next monthly event will be? I don't rem I don't even remember which uh, turn, which maybe collector. Oh no, there are. How do how did they know that they should attack me? I'm just I'm just riding around. 
Anyway, let's go to the ambush site and stop these bandits. Clasher says, hello cat, hello there. And welcome. <laughs> Twisted Trading is making a good point that uh, actually Land of Opportunity mission is, is longer than new Call of Duty campaign. But I mean, let's be honest, who buys Call of Duty because of campaign anyway? I don't think that... To, like, I personally was skipping Call of Duty campaigns since uh, Black Ops 2 or something like this. I don't care. I buy Call of Duty almost every year simply for multiplayer. For multiplayer only. Like... Okay, maybe I, um, um, I should have... go uphill? Oh no, it's fine. There we go. They're already robbing this train. Uh, the problem is... I don't know which one of them is the target. I, I want to, to kill them in stealth, but... Okay, stealth is not possible here. Now I know. Okay, oh no, 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 wait, it's a, it's a target actually. Oh, there it is. There you go. Oops. And knocking him out. Bam. Boom. Bam. Come on. Come on. How many times do I need to hit him? Oh, finally. And we continue shooting. Bam. Boom. Headshot. Bam, bam. So I think I killed them all. I still have some time to loot enemies. And then I will just deliver him. And we will see if it's a double payout or not. Should be a, no, it's not a kill. No, that's a kill. Yeah, it's another reason why I love so much playing on PC. Bow, bow just looked so good on PC. Feels so good. Is this free aim mission? No, it's not free aim. But I'm just playing with mouse and a keyboard, so for me it's a free aim. You know, when you play with mouse and the keyboard, every mission is a free aim. And that's why, uh, you know, these difficulty levels on uh, Telegram missions, they don't make much sense, to be honest. Because, like, you, you play with free aim anyway. So, there is no, like, really big difference between uh, hard and uh, ruthless difficulties. So there we go. Is a new patch coming? Uh, Resurrections is asking. Yes. Yes. Rockstar are testing something. And actually they tested the updated QA beta branch twice today. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoop. Haha. <laughs> I mean, you don't even need auto-aim when you have mouse and a keyboard. Like, 
there is no reason in using auto aim. Silarpa says, yes, new patch is on 20th of February. No, there is like, I don't have such information. We don't know when it will be released, but rocks are testing a new patch. That's for sure. Is the Outlaw Pass is coming out? We don't know. Maybe Rockstar will decide to bring them back. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. And then Sial Silarpa is continuing. It's gonna be housing patch. You can buy a small cabin, a normal house or a mansion. And from this point we know that it's just a trolling. Eat something. Yeah, it's a good point. I will eat beans. Do I have beans? Yes, I have them. So anyway, I assume I need to wait for one and a half minute more uh, to receive a payout for 12 minutes long mission. Is this a bandit? I hope it is a bandit. <laughs> Not just, you know, random rider. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I need to wait for like one more minute to receive a payout for 12 minutes, I think. I, I forgot to start the timer again, but I think I st this mission started around 11 minutes ago. Eat your free Valentine chocolate. You know what? I haven't received it yet because I was not playing on PC before this week. It's, it's the first time I'm playing on PC this week. So I haven't received chocolate yet. I guess I will receive it tomorrow or like in a few days. So is there any collectible items nearby? I don't see anything. So yeah, wait for... Let's wait for 20 seconds. Connor, 118. Thank you, Connor. Anything in the works for properties or on Red Dead Online? No, unfortunately, no. It's, guys, information from QA Beta. What info, What we can tell? I, like, it's it's pretty clear. Rockstar are not testing any new content at the moment. They're making a lot of testing, but not for a new content. So what could it be? It could be a, a title update where they will fix different bugs. It could, they can bring back some old content like all the outlaw passes or they can activate something that was already in a game files like uh, telegram missions, new call to arms maps, new PvP maps, something like that. You know, they did it before, they don't need to test them, they're already in a game files. So anyway, let's deliver. Should be, uh, should be, oh, I should have waited a little bit longer. But anyway, let's take a look at the payout. Uh, let's check if, if there will be double payout or not. So 500 bounty experience, 500 regular. No, it's not a double payout. It's, uh, it's double money, but no double gold. By the way, here we go. Well, that's interesting, but apparently I never tuned in a bounty from, <laughs> from from the Benedict point before. Uh, think they will fix stable glitch? Blessed Sun is asking. Well, uh, you know, at some point they kind of promised to fix stable glitch back in the day. And uh, they said that they will fix it in a new title update. In the next title update, they said. So, uh, this title update, you know, if it's a title update that they are testing, then I think they will fix Stable Glitch, or I should rather say they will try to fix Stable Glitch, because, you know, when Rockstar tries to fix something, on practice, they usually just break 10 other things. So, I don't think... Troll is saying, bounties are broken in New Austin, no double gold. Uh, well, you know what? Let's test uh, bounty mission. Oh, I don't like this mission, it's multiple bounties. I will have to use bounty hunter wagon 
And I just don't like bounty hunter wagon. I just don't like to use it. Let's go to Tumbleweed and test bounties. Uh. Do you think there is gonna be any new Outlaw Pass? Unlikely. I mean, best we can expect is them bringing back all the Outlaw Passes. Okay, let's complete this one. So, 36 minutes. Anonymous says, Wilderness Camp is unusable because of Aurora. Yeah, I still have this Aurora on PC. But it's not like before, like before, previously it was every time I tried to use Wilderness Camp, the game just breaks. Uh, and now it's like one time out of five. Go to low, man. Okay, I'm actually, I'm already here. Hello, low, man. I'm, I'm ready to help. Okay. Let's do it. No way. Okay. Let's begin. Let's begin. Too much talking. Do I need to protect uh, the slow man or what? I don't see attackers. Oh, now I see them. <laughs> now I see them. Okay, it's fine. Oh, what a satisfying headshot from like... From 10 kilometers away. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they're throwing dynamite. It's not good. Not, not healthy. Here you go! Okay, I wanna use a bow. Bam, that was embarrassing. The last one. Where are you? Okay, I don't see him from here. <laughs> I don't see him. Do I have a dynamite? I guess I do, but like... Wait, 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 wait. Ah! <laughs> wait a second, stranger. Okay. You know what, let's just kill them. him with uh, gold. Uh, From such distance, uh, Volcanic Pistol is not the best choice, but I'm still using it. So, are there additional enemies? You know what, this mission is like a... is like a demo version of Call to Arms. Just, I, I, I guess one of them would be uh, a target that I need to capture, so I need to make sure that I will not kill him. Uh. 
There we go. Oh, here you are. I think uh, it should be the last enemy. No, it's it was not the last enemy. Oh, there are actually a lot of enemies. Yeah, gunfights on the PC are just different. I need to practice, though. I, 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 you know, I'm missing too many shots. Oh no, they're not slowing down. It's not good. Bam. You better not disappoint me, fella. There we go. Oh. And here comes the machine gun. Uh oh, not good. What level are you? 300 and something. Oh no, and dogs. Uh oh. Dogs. Ah. Dogs. Okay, I guess I need to. I guess I need to kill the dogs first. Yeah, here we go. Who lets the dogs out? Who? 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 How many shots do I need to make on this dog? I mean, it was a headshot. Who lets the dogs out? I mean, it was elephant rifle, come on. Any dog should be killed with a one shot of an elephant rifle. Okay, I guess uh, I will get just get closer. The problem is I'm not quite sure. Okay, now I see. Oh, <laughs> I'm just hitting this. Uh... Fans. And the last one. Shoo. Oh, oops. Okay. Oh! Stand up! Stand up! <laughs> that that was almost a fail. Here you go, buddy. Bam. And now it's time to loot all these 100 enemies that I killed during this mission. And yeah, this mission is kind of, fair, you know, familiar. Uh, it's a little bit similar to Call to Arms. There was recently a Call to Arms map in Tumbleweed. I like this mission actually. And in general, uh, infamous bounty missions are so much better than regular bounty missions. When was the last time you played on PC? I was, you know, sometimes I was logging in to check uh, some things, but I was not really playing. Uh, a few times I tried to test something on PC, but last time I played on PC, like played, you know, played, uh, it was more than two years ago. No, actually, I think more than three years ago. No. 
Yeah, probably more than three years ago. And as you can see, this glitch with the long hair is still not fixed. <laughs> it, it was here uh, like years ago. And it's still there. Like, look, I need to bring back my hat. It's still, it's still there. Yeah, it's also it's also a good point from Twisted Trading that uh, unlike with legendary bounties, for example, inf when you complete an infamous bounty mission, your uh, trader and moonshine production are working; they're not stopping. Deliver the target to the prison wagon. Okay, I can do that. Oh, there are additional enemies, but I will just ride away. Uh, Janko saying, Collector is broken again. No maps can open on Xbox or PC. Do you have the same problem? Like, I don't know, because, like, to be honest, no one uses Collector maps. Like, there is uh, only... Only reason to use Collector map is when you have daily challenge. Uh, but, like, you don't need them. You can use interactive Collector's map in the internet and just find uh, collectibles this way. So, I, I, to be honest, I have no idea if maps are broken or not. Have you collected modders gold bars? Nope. You see, the thing is, I played on PC when uh, there was a old daily challenge system. So, that's why I have so much gold. Because with all daily challenge system, it was super easy to make gold bars, if you play, like, consistently. So everyone who, who played before uh, late 2020 have a lot of gold bars, before Bounty Hunters update. Like, a lot of, hundreds, thousands of gold bars. Just because back then, it was super easy to complete. So anyway, let's wait for 20 seconds and deliver. I f again, I forgot to, to see when this mission started. But we will see if payout is double or not. X23 says, sorry for the same question to type again, lolcat. How is PC? I like PC so far, but I'm playing... You know, I'm playing in a private lobby. In a private lobby, you don't have all the negative stuff. Not only on PC, but on consoles as well. Uh, because game just works better. But on PC especially, because there are no cheaters. Cheaters are the main problem on PC. Like, work, my Toss that one in there. Okay, let's see how much I will get. And yeah, double payout. It's double payout. So apparently, apparently, uh, it's not like bounty in famous bounties in New Austin are broken. It's this specific bounty mission at Benedict Point, not mission chain of infamous infamous bounties is broken. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how it works. Meanwhile. 242 likes thanks to everyone who placed a like and as always thanks to everyone who supports me on a uh, youtube membership patreon youtube super chat stuff like that and yeah guys i'm not quite sure if all regular bounties are broken but and by broken, I mean they don't pay double payout. But the one I tried are broken. Does Wilderness Camp work? Let's... Okay, I'm not gonna test it. Because, you know, for me, there is like between 10 and 20% uh, probability that when I will use Wilderness Camp, my game will just crash. Okay. So what do we have here? 
fame seeker. I think she wants a photo or something. Uh, no. Like, I mean, you're supposed. Why so rude? Why is she so rude? Hello there. Oh, I need more players to activate this mission. Okay, how do you like this type of fame? Fame seeker. I, I didn't like this mission anyway. Yeah, she, she doesn't have a donkey and Griosi, I agree. No reason for her to even live. These fame seekers are only make sense when they have a donkey with a saddle. Yeah. Yeah, playing on PC is like pretty cool. You know what? I I also wanted to test on PC if my call to arms is active. Yes, it's active in this solo lobby. So probably uh, Telegram missions should be not a problem too. I wanted to test something. I think I cannot join because of this uh, private lobby. I cannot join uh, PvP modes and PvP events. Uh, you know, like Trader Road and stuff. But rest should work fine. X23 says that PC has better graphics for sure. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, depending on your PC, but. And yeah, one of the bonuses uh, of uh, private lobbies that you will see a lot of random encounters all the time. By the way, it's time to start a poll, to stop a poll, and a poll, actually. So I asked, uh, stream quality is, as usual, worse and terrible. For 5% it's terrible, for 8% it's worse, and for 85 it's usual. By the way, trolls, so maybe when I will be streaming from PC, I will be just streaming with this setup. I may... I might make some changes, but so far it seems like it works fine. If you are in a private lobby, you can use Wilderness Camp without crush. You know what? Let's test it. Let's test if... if uh, I think it's possible, quite possible, because, you know, most of the problems that happen in Red Dead Online, they are not happening in private lobbies. But I'm not quite sure about Wilderness Camp Crush, but let's try. Oh, it works. On the other hand, I don't know if it really works, because as I've already mentioned, I don't crush all the time after the last patch. I crush only like 10 to 15 percent, 10 to 20 percent cases. Let's fast travel somewhere. Let's fast travel to Emerald Station. Uh, are you using private lobby mode? I use uh, this uh, file, uh, Startup Meta. But uh, basically all the methods that I've seen uh, of creating private lobby on PC are the same. It's just like they create this file in a different way. Like uh, Nexus mod, uh, mod from Nexus mods creates this file simply. You can create it yourself, doesn't matter.
And yeah, obviously, a uh, game on PC looks uh, like super gorgeous in 4K, but I'm not playing in 4K now because I, I don't think my PC can handle playing in 4K and streaming at the same time. But you know, playing in 2K is also like pretty good. Junk Mail says that port blocking is another way. Yeah, it's it's also another way, but like most people are just using this um, file. Uh, GG. Thank you for super chat. Hello, been watching you from 2022. Can I join you? No, I'm playing in a private lobby, so you will not be able to join me. Sorry. Augusta says, the quality of game looks pretty bad. I don't know, it's probably the quality of a stream looks pretty bad, because, you know, maybe I need to use a different setup, I'm not quite sure, but the quality of a game looks pretty good. It, it might be an issue with uh, streaming. I'm, I'm streaming in full HD. It decreases quality, obviously, of a picture. But I will, oh, sorry. Maybe, you know what, maybe my PC is just not powerful enough to to stream and play at the same time. You know what, let's go on some mission where there will be a lot of shooting with sniper rifle. Now let's use sniper rifle, yeah, let's use, I don't know, repeater but without, uh, without painted black. And, uh, I don't know, double Lima revolvers. Okay, actually, you know what, volcanic are pretty good. I'm not gonna use I'm, I'm running out of ammo, but... Yeah, so let's go to some mission where there are a lot of shooting. So, I don't know, Telegram mission, new source of employment, one horse deal. One horse deal is has a lot of shooting. You can complete it in stealth. Actually, I didn't know that <laughs> until my no kills playthrough. Uh, but... Uh, you mentioned in a previous video that you were born in USSR. In which country exactly? In Ukraine. It was not a previous video. <laughs> it was 10 videos ago. But I guess it was previous that you watched. Guys, solo lobby manager from Nexus Mons simply creates this startup meta file. You don't even need to use it after you created it once. So let's go and uh, and practice a little bit sniper rifle. I'm not quite sure. If it's a if it's a short scope or what? Yeah. So much better than on a console. So much. <laughs> Like, really? Oh no, it should have been a kill. And yeah, I was not playing on PC for a long time in Red Dead Online, so... I mean... I should practice to aim better, but... I still remember how to do it a little bit. Where are you? Stop hiding. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's try Lancaster. Oops. They're actually hitting pretty hard on this difficulty. The easiest way to land the headshot without painted black is definitely double volcanics. Uh oh, I'm shooting this cow. And the last one, I think. Yep. No, there is one more. Not anymore. Yeah, I need to practice a little bit. Maybe I will play uh, Call to Arms later of the stream. Voxy says, hello there, hello. The problem is, I don't even remember how to break the horse when you're playing on, uh, on a PC. I, I remember how to do it when you play on a controller. But when you're playing with the mouse and the keyboard, I have no idea. Let's try it. There is a horse. Okay, so how do I... Okay, I have no idea. Hold S. So I need to... Okay, I, I, I literally did nothing. I was... Like, it says hold S and then press A and D and uh, G to calm, but I was only pressing S, I was not touching A or D buttons at all and pressing G and that's it and, and broke the horse, it's literally broken. Okay, from here I think we can just, just go directly to, uh, to a delivery point. Like, you can just ride and ignore all the enemies that will be chasing you. They, they are chasing you, shooting at you, but you can just ride. But for some reason I'm I'm riding not as fast as usually. It literally feels like I'm riding slower, but I don't know. What things can you not do in a private lobby? Uh I think you cannot join PvP modes. 
and uh, you cannot join uh, this uh, free roam events you know like day of recording trader road and stuff like that and except for that i think everything is available so you know it's like an easy easy choice so well that's it Who even plays PvP modes on PC? Well, that's a good point. Like, PvP modes on PC are just uh, cursed. There is no reason to play them at all because, you know, they, 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 they were filled with cheaters when I played them last time three years ago. And I think now situation is definitely not any better. Like, literally, in pretty much every lobby, there was a person with unkillable with infinite dynamite arrows, even in modes where you don't have a bow. <laughs> so... Undead Nightmare 2 is a dream. Yeah, it would be nice to have an Undead Nightmare 2. Blood Money and Infamous Bounties are still available, yeah. Why does your honor level seem so low? Probably because I was uh, grinding blood money missions. Okay, actually, I think... Yeah, I played blood money missions here to record some footage with a good quality. When they were released. But Wald is more alive in private lobby, ESP says. More animals, uh, random events. Yeah, yeah, the, it just, everything works better in a private lobby, which is kind of... You know, it's definitely not, it ha not how it's supposed to work. But it makes sense because of peer-to-peer -peer connection. Peer-to-peer -peer connection is just not good. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Climauf says, what? The cheaters are not banned automatically by Rockstar? <laughs> no. <laughs> they are not banned at all by Rockstar. I will tell you more. Where is my shell? Let's use a shotgun. No. Oops. I don't really see anyone. I need to do something with my settings because everything... Okay. Shooting moving targets is a little bit more challenging. Uh, I mean, I literally don't see anything. Everything is so dark, like I shoot there, and I'm an enemy hiding here. Need to practice shooting, uh, riding enemies without painted black. Is he alive? Yes. That's the last one. Oh, actually, Trajanov says no stable glitch on private lobby. Let's test this as well. Let's go and test if I will be able. I mean, if, 
it should be no stable glitch because uh, I, I'm pretty sure that stable glitch is caused by other players in a lobby. Mayhem Rob says super lag. Okay, guys. Is a uh, stream lagging? Let me know, please. Okay, so there was some lag. Uh, probably on YouTube side, uh, side uh, because, uh, you know, uh, my data is not showing any issues with uh, stream. Sometimes it happens. On YouTube, actually, it happens quite often. But anyway, let's go to stables and try, you know, like... Obviously, in a, in a private lobby, it doesn't matter, but when you play in a public lobby, uh, uh, stables at Valentine just like broken always, just because there are usually quite a lot of people in Valentine. So let's go there. Should be no difference in this lobby, because you know, there is only me. Another random encounter. I think actually it's a bounty. Uh, it's not a bounty. It's a treasure map giver. Yeah, I will buy it. This one is the best. Okay. Okay, give it to me. Yes, it, I, I will buy it. There you go. Here you go. Thank you. Yes. Whoops. I thought it will activate, uh, uh, you know, execution, but no. But let's see if I can loot my five dollars back. Where did my money go on? I mean, I got only 37 cents. <laughs> I just paid her five dollars. And it disappeared. I mean, you uh, just, just need to mention that it's like you can kill this uh, treasure map giver and just loot treasure map without buying it. I, I just wanted to test if I can loot back my five dollars. <laughs> By the way guys, here we go where another random encounter, it's a bounty. Uh, but like it's a waste of time. Like no money will be paid. Yeah, the game looks way too dark in my opinion. Comparing to Xbox, it's like really dark. I think I should change some settings, but I'm not quite sure which one. Anyway, let's go directly into stables. Like, if you will do it in a public lobby, you will get stuck nine times out of ten in Valentine. But let's see uh, if it's if it works here. Yeah, but it's fine, absolutely fine, because private lobby. You see, I can buy anything. I can buy a horse, multi. There is a discount on Missouri Fox Trotter. By the way, I actually like how Missouri Fox Trotter looks. Uh, I prefer Turkoman and Shire, but Missouri Fox Trotter is like fine horse. Yeah, private lobby equals no glitches, but that's true. And you know what? Like, like think about it. There are so many issues in public lobbies, not. 
not even talking about uh, cheaters, but just game is not working like it should. And there are no such issues in the private lobbies. But there is no official way to to go and play in a pl private lobby or invite only lobby. There is no such option. Rockstar removed the the only option to play Red Dead Online without issues. Like you can play in a private or invite only lobby in GTA Online. You can do it. In Red Dead Online, not really. Hello. He came to say hello. And it's so stupid. I mean, literally, what Rockstar is doing, uh, it, it, many, many things that Rockstar were doing to Red Dead Online look like they, it's look like sabotage. You know, like they try to make people stop playing this game. Like many decisions. And it's only one example why there are no private lobbies. Like people would enjoy, would love to play in private lobbies. A lot of people would love to play. Why there are no option to create a second character? Like think about it. It's in GTA Online. Not in Red Dead Online. Stupid. It literally looks like they tried to kill this game on purpose. Maybe there are some collectible items. Nah, don't see anything. Trajanov says, if I had not discovered private lobby, I would have quit playing Red Dead Online. Yeah, I mean, on, on PC, it's uh, it's uh, unfortunately the only option at some point. Twisted Trading says, I'm gonna bet that private lobbies won't be available in GTA 6. I'm afraid you are correct here. Like, they were testing this in Red Dead Online. Only because uh, they want people to pay money to be able to fight other players. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure that it's the reason why Red Dead Online never had private lobbies in the first place. Uh, someone at Rockstar decided that when people are being attacked by griefers, it increases chances that they will spend real life money on, uh, you know, on in-game currency. Ryan says, do you think we will get a big update? No, not big update, but I think some title update is being tested now. And title update is basically bug fixes, uh, maybe some old content uh, returning to the game, but no new content. But you know what? What do you guys think? Let's make a poll quickly. So, uh, for, for the context, it's for sure rocks are attesting something. But it's not, like, they are not testing any new content. So, the question will be, what will Red Dead Online get? Okay, no. Uh, what rocks are testing? Rocks are uh, testing. No. Yeah. So, options will be Miracle Big Update. Big Update. I don't know, like, I, I will leave this option. Uh, so, Title Update. Simple Patch. Simple Patch. Title Update. And the last option will be nothing. They just doing random stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to be honest, first and last options are un not like impossible, but really, really, it's unlikely that it's the case because, like, miracle big update. It's unlikely because you know they are not testing new content. Nothing is unlikely because they are literally doing some testing every day since the beginning of 2024. 
So they doing at least something. <laughs> but I will just leave these options. Can you get banned for private lobby mod? I have no idea. I never see... I mean, in theory you can, but I've never seen a story that someone was banned for it. Can you invite your friends? Yes, you can invite your friends. You simply need to give uh, them, like, unique uh, code if you want. Angry Aussie says, nothing for consoles. Nothing for consoles, it should be simple patch. Because it will be simple patch for, for PC, like. If there will be patch for consoles as well, it will be title update. Is Bounty Hunter the best, uh, the best for what? So your friend needs the mod. Uh, it's not necessary to use the mod. You, you can you you can literally use uh, one simple small file, text file, startup meta. But yeah, y y like if you will download uh, mod from Nexus mods, your friend will download the same mod. You will give him name of your lobby and uh, password, and and you can play together. You can. Like, uh, invite many friends, I think. Can you do Moonshiner role solo? For sure. It's a solo role. Actually, Moonshiner is like a... I I'm not even sure if you can complete Moonshiner story mission in a group. But yeah, you can do all the roles solo. Oh yeah, guys, uh, speaking about that, you know what you cannot do in these missions? You cannot do Land of Opportunities. Because Land of Opportunities are multiplayer uh, and there should be at least two players to start a mission. How much time did you have to level up Outlaw Passes and Quick Draw Clubs? Quick Draw Clubs one month uh, and Outlaw Passes three months usually. Best weapon you recommend, Cat? Kirkana Rifle. I don't have it now. I really like how my game looks on PC, but the issue is it's too dark, quite often, too dark. Outlaw Pass was two months, I'm not quite sure about that, I think it was three, I might be wrong. But I... Maybe two, because there was a, uh, you know, it ended before Halloween pass uh, was starting. Anyway, maybe someone, el uh, someone else also remembers for how long, uh, how much time we had to level up Outlaw Pass usually. I think three months. Oh nice, I have I have a scope on this repeater. Check if HDR setting is on. Yeah, maybe it's HDR. I'm not quite sure where exactly it's on PC. I have no idea where it's on PC. <laughs> uh, Uh, 
Maybe I will do brightness calibration here. Oh, I usually, you know what, I usually, that's why my game is so dark. I was usually using NVIDIA filters. Okay, let's use it like this. Maybe it's in display. Nope. Best revolver you recommend, cat? Uh, I like uh, Navy, actually. It's just I was not... Oh, actually, it's now way too bright. Okay, it's a screenshot. Oh, it's the settings of a display. I thought it's an in-game. No, guys, it's it's just too bright. I will check check it a little bit. How many hackers have you run into so far? Zero, because I'm playing in a private lobby. Take a look. It's just me. Only me. I just, like... You know, I've been telling you, I was not playing for on a PC for, for a long time and I simply forgot how to open, let's say, NVIDIA filters. I don't... Uh, Alt Z. No, NVIDIA filters. There is a... There is a... There is a button to open game filters. Oh, yeah. Alt F3. Styles. I, I have only image sharpening filters saved here. Anyway, later I will try to figure it out. I increased brightness a little bit. Let me know in the chat what do you think. Is it is game looks better now or worse? Junk mail says for me filter is alt plus z alt plus that opens opens nvidia menu uh, but uh, if you want to open filters immediately you press alt plus f3 cat horse is dirty Let, let's let's see maybe on pc i have a brush yeah, I have a brush. Here we go. There we go. Shire is is a really good looking horse. Oh no, I'm in, I'm increasing my I'm increasing my um honor not good and let's feed it as well buffaloes it's actually weird you know what i thought it's weird that i'm playing on a piece uh, on a uh, in a solo lobby for so long but i haven't seen a single legendary animal yet 
And I, I definitely have naturally stroll on PC and I'm definitely have a maximum level of it. Let's find the donkey. Donkey. And for some reason, there is no donkey. I mean, uh, oh, there is a donkey. I wanted to say that like this uh, place uh, is like a guaranteed donkey. You will always find a donkey here, but <laughs> I like noises that donkey is making. <laughs> I don't know. It's for some reason fun. I, f I I think it's fun. Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> donkey. That's how you hunt buffaloes with donkey. Oh no, I ruined the uh, bison skin. Yeah, it's best mount in Red Dead Online for sure. And you can fight from here. Obviously, you know... It's better to find a donkey with a saddle. But it is what it is. Hunt with donkey and elephant rifle. OP. Last time I tried elephant rifle. Oh, I cannot switch, obviously, because I don't have a saddle. Last time I tried uh, hunting with uh, elephant rifle, it was not that effective, you know. It kind of ruins spelled quality. Always. Which is not surprising. 300 likes, by the way. Thanks to everyone who placed a like. So, let's take a look at the poll results. It was a quick, quick, uh, quick poll. Let's write to Madame Nazar. So, there will be Donkey, me, and Madame Nazar. Really nice party. Uh, so, question was what rocks are attesting now? Simple patch. It's the most popular opinion. 35% nothing, which I personally think is unlikely. 33% miracle big update, <laughs> which I think is also unlikely. Almost impossible. 21%. And title update 8%. Actually, okay, maybe I was not clear what, by what, uh, with what I mean by title update. But title update is basically a, like a patch but uh, a big one but anyway I th in my personal opinion title update and simple patch are equally possible and uh, miracle big update is like 10% maximum probability and nothing is almost impossible because I, they literally testing something we can see it <laughs> like why would they do it But obviously, people are not as optimistic about rocks or <laughs> dunk is pretty cool. <laughs> talk to Madame Nazar. I I don't want to talk to her. I will talk to her when there will be double payout for collectibles. Maybe next month, by the way. The previous update, the one that fixed quitting, is a title update. No, it's just uh, it's just a simple patch, simple hot fix. It's not a title update. Karu UK says, uh, so hope the conclusion that PC stream works. Yes, 
apparently it works maybe i should uh, think about my setup a little bit more maybe i should use two pc setup i will do additional testing but apparently it works more or less fine maybe i will make a two uh pc setup oh wow huge uh huge uh, super chat from twisted trading thank you a lot unexpected i will place a like before reading <laughs> i'm a simple man i see a big uh i see a big super chat i place a like uh, take your wife out to eat this weekend and thanks for surprise stream i hope i will have time to go for a uh, for some restaurant but th thanks and uh thanks uh uh for watching actually this weekend is already here i, th I just thought it's just kind of busy days nowadays but hopefully we can we can find a time I mean, I like last Sunday. I had no time even to stream. So so much going on. And also, internet was broken. So you know, it's a good, perfect storm of not starting a stream. If you don't mind me asking, what are your PC specifications? Uh, I don't remember, uh, but I like it, like, let's say, when I was buying this PC two and a half, no, three years ago almost, it was a pretty expensive one, because it has RTX uh, 3070, but now it's just like, it's not a top-end PC, not the best processor it has, like, uh, but you know a decent one can I transfer PlayStation 4 account to PC no unfortunately you cannot I mean I actually saw an interesting topic today like uh, on reddit I think people were asking how do I transfer my PlayStation 4 account to PlayStation 5 and I thought, like, do you really need to do anything? Because on play on Xbox, for example, I had Red Dead Redemption 2 on uh, Xbox uh, One. And when I bought X Xbox Series X, I just, you know, logged in with my account, installed Red Dead Redemption, and immediately, like, there was no need to, to do anything to make some special transfer uh, or something. I, I would just logged in and start playing with my uh you know main character so i i don't know like i don't know how it works on playstation it just got me confused i decided to ask so go park says same on playstation no transfer needed yeah i think it should work the same so you know the question kind of surprised me Twisted Trading says, no, on Xbox it transferred fr fine from Series S to X, since it's an old-gen game. Yeah, I mean, I had no issues as well. I mean, it's just like, uh, no actions were required. Just simply installed it, logged in, and started playing. On your free time, do you play any other games? I sometimes play Call of Duty or Overwatch. I actually, you know, I try many new games that, uh, at least I try beta, uh, beta tests. Like, for example, I recently tried uh, Skull and Bones. I don't know, guys, have you tried Skull and Bones in beta? Maybe someone bought it. But I played for, like, half an hour, and I was so bored. And I mean, I'm playing Red Dead Online, so I know what boredom is, <laughs> right? But with Skull and Bones, it's like... Meh. 
I was expecting more from this game. I saw all the red flags, I know that it was in development hell and stuff, but I thought like, oh yeah, we'll give it a try. Maybe Ubisoft will surprise me. And then just like, hmm, okay. Uh, but, you know, probably it's because I was never a big fan of uh, this uh, sailing, sailing on a ship in, uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed games. I, I mean, I really liked Black Flag, but the part where you have to control your, uh, you know, s sail on the sea it was always not the best one for me. Because she says, and to think Ubisoft CEO said Skull and Bulls is quadruple A game. Yeah, I saw that. It was kind of funny. <laughs> it was really funny. Vasil is saying, coming from the biggest Assassin's Creed fan, Skull and Bulls, uh, Bones is just bad. I mean, I, I also I played most uh, Assassin's Creed games. Uh, including Valhalla, including Origins, you know, recent one. So I and I enjoyed them. Um, I I really like Assassin's Creed games and old games as well. Like Black Flag is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. Was, but Skull and Bones is just uninspiring, unimpressive. Even, I mean, I, I'm absolute. Even considering the fact that I'm absolutely fine that it's a service game, live service game. I mean, like, okay, if it's fun, I will give it a try. But I, I, I tried. <laughs> I tried to enjoy it. Uh, and I see a lot of people are comparing Sea of Thieves uh, with Skull and Bones, but I never tried Sea of Thieves. I, I've heard a lot of cool things about this game, but never, never played it. Uh, Levy Simp says, hey, is it safe to pick up the treasure that cheaters spawn? You know, the cheaters. Uh, yeah, I know these chests, uh, like previously Rockstar were giving bonds if you pick up too much gold, but no one knows how much is too much, like 30 gold bars per hour or more. There was a debate, but anyway. Nowadays, I don't think Rockstar cares anymore at all, but I still wouldn't, uh, if I were you, I wouldn't pick up these chests, because, like, it ruins uh, the game experience. Getting too much gold uh, immediately will just faster get you to the point where you have nothing to spend this gold on. I think it's somewhere here, like collectible. You know what? After increasing brightness, I actually think that game looks better for me, at least on my monitor. Would you like to? Uh, w which character would you like to see from story mode in Red Dead Online? Hosea. For me, uh, the answer is like super simple. Hosea. I would like to see Hosea as a quest giver in Red Dead Online. I mean, we have a lot of uh, characters from story, right? We have Sean. We have Trelawney. We even have Sadie Adler. Uh, she only gives one mission, but still, uh, we have less important characters like Guido Martelli and stuff. Like, so it would be cool if there were more important characters like Hosea. And, and obviously, Arthur, John, and and so on and so on, right? You know what? Actually, it's a good question, and it's a good uh, it's a good idea for a poll 
but the problem is if i will make a poll and i will choose author as one of the options it will win like no matter what people would want to see author and even if it's gonna be john it would win so i think it should be like hosea uh javier bill micah who knows maybe micah Give me next option. Oh, actually, Twisted Trading says it would be cool if they had characters like Mark. No, they. Uh, you you mean uh, people who died before events of Red Dead Redemption Two? It's not gonna happen. I mean, even if they are not planning to make a Red Dead Redemption Three or some sort of a DLC, they will still keep this character and these events, Blackwater uh, robbery uh for that even if they abandoned this idea completely lenny oh yeah angry aussie exactly Len okay guys it's not fair lenny would win you know what super quick uh super quick poll to check it so uh, character to add in red dead online so let's make four options micah Lenny, Hosea, and uh, okay, Bill, maybe Bill. Bill is not like Bill. Let's let's say Bill and Javier. I hope I because i think that bill and javier only together can compete with lenny hosea or micah yeah micah micah could be here just like Hosea, just like anyone, actually. Swanson. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, we already have Creeps. Why do we need a Swanson? Creeps is basically a, a mix of a Swanson and Uncle. Creeps is like... A, is if, if Uncle and Swanson had a son... That would be creeps. Okay. Harriet Davenport. No, Davenport. We already have her. I mean, the question should be, would you like to see Harriet in a story? Everyone would vote for Lenny. Yeah, actually, Ram, that's what I, th <laughs> that's what I think as well. That's why I think it's not, you know, it's not a fair competition. Everyone likes Lenny. I don't see results yet, but my prediction that Lenny will be on the first place, Mike on the second, Josia on the third, and Bill plus Javier will be on the last place. Michael Hart says, I want to see Trelawney in Red Dead Online. Well, good news. Good news for you. Trelawney is already in Red Dead Online. You can find Trelawney, for example, here. Trelawney. You see? Trelawney. So, lucky day. I mean, obviously... Many people don't know that Trelawney and Sadie Adler are already in Red Dead Online simply because they are given stranger missions uh, and stranger missions are just like a waste of time, right? Someone is shooting. Who was that? 
Hold on. Charles, yeah, Charles. Uh, again, Charles is a little bit unfair option, just like Lenny. Everybody wants to see Charles. And Actually, you know what? It's possible to make a vote with Hosea, Michael, Michael, Micah, uh, Lenny, and Charles. I think it's more or less balanced. Like, people who want to see uh, finally some true outlaw in this game will vote for uh micah people who like lenny will vote for lenny and i i still think it's most people uh who respect wisdom will vote for hosea and uh, also actually people who charles is also a pretty cool character so yeah I'm, I'm i'm actually not sure who would win charles or lenny i still think lenny Let's be let's be honest. Among uh, side characters in Red Dead Online, Lenny is the most famous one because of you know that mission. Lenny, I tried, but my attempt was pathetic. Sorry. Only only uh, Roger Clark can 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 do it. Yeah, uncle would feed, but the problem is we already have creeps. Creeps is basically uncle. So yeah, let, let's take a look at vote result. As I as I promised, it's a super super quick. Oh, you know what? Actually, I was wrong. Apparently, Lenny. I was right about Lenny, but Hosea is on a second place, and Micah is only on a third place. Because obviously people hate Micah, but still I thought that you know it's he, he's a, he's a bad ass, so he should give us like bad honor missions. And Bill is Javier. Obviously nobody cares about Bill and Javier. I'm sorry, but that's that's obvious. Yeah, Lenny, Lenny easy, easily won. By the way, take a look. Now it's at night time and a pretty dark night. Uh, there is no... Even moon is hidden behind the clouds. But picture is pretty bright. So I like these brightness settings more than previous one. Madame Nazara is playing its music, you know, as usual. So anyway guys, it was a small testing stream, I decided to test uh, how game works on PC because I have a plan, series of streams, maybe I will start this series this uh, Sunday, maybe this Sunday I will make like more traditional stream and uh, make this series next week, but the idea behind this series is to level up character from level 1 to level 100 only on streams like on streams only so yeah if you're interested just letting you know it will be like a one big guide uh, where i also read chat and reply to questions and stuff like that and uh, with that being said thanks to everyone who joined this stream thanks to everyone let me show the like by the way oh i have a yeah now it works thanks to everyone what why what everything is broken for some reason everything is broken <laughs> but, but anyway i broke it somehow uh thanks for ever everyone who showed up thanks for everyone to everyone who placed a like and obviously to everyone who was using super chat and supports me on youtube membership and patreon stuff like that and yeah i will actually check a recording of the stream to see if like from technical point of view this setup works and only then we'll decide when I will start this you know big series of streams so yeah guys anyway see you on sunday 
I'm planning to stream on Sunday, usual time, uh, about uh, 5 p.m. Greenwich Meridian time. So yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye.